This is Dolan TV, guys. We have a trade to announce in the NHL today, middle of July. Free agency seems to be a year ago, and the Eric Carlson saga has dragged on for months. But today, the Chicago Blackhawks and Arizona Coyotes have, well, they've got a deal going. And so, biggest part of this deal, I guess, if you want to really talk about it, is the trade of Marion Hosa. Even though he's not a player, it's just kind of that cap hit, cap space situation with Marion Hosa. Chicago getting him off the books, sending him to Arizona. And then in exchange, there's a lot coming back uh, both ways actually. This is a lot bigger of a deal than just a salary cap dump for Marion Hosa. Vinny Hinnestroza, Jordan Rosterly, and a 2019 third round pick are headed to the Arizona Coyotes from the Chicago Blackhawks. And in exchange, the Blackhawks will reacquire Marcus Kruger, Mackenzie Entwistle, Jordan Maletta, Andrew Campbell, and a 2019 fifth round draft pick. Okay, so let's count the pieces coming back to Chicago. Kruger, Entwistle, Maletta, Campbell, and a fifth. That fifth is the fifth piece. Right there, five pieces included in a trade where the Chicago Blackhawks... Hawks, oh my god, can't even talk, I'm so excited, have sent a player who will probably never play in the NHL again, a bonafide fourth, third line player in Vinny Hinostroza, and then Jordan Osterley, a defenseman who once played for the Oilers once upon a time, and a 2019 third round pick. So a big, big trade in terms of pieces being moved, like Marion Hosa, the biggest name involved in that deal, but at the same rate, it's a big deal for both teams to move around that much of a team in one shot. So what I'm going to do here is grab my laptop, move it over so that I can read it a little bit more and give you guys a little bit more in-depth info as to uh, what's going on here. Marcus Kruger is where we'll start in the exchange for the uh, Chicago Blackhawks right there, Marcus Kruger. Let's get him on there and let's get talking about him. And Marcus Kruger... You see, I've already got, where is he, where is he, hockey DB, that's what I'm looking for right there. So Marcus Kruger ended up playing in Carolina this season, this past season, 48 games, one goal, five assists, six points, but you see he has put up some career years as a member of the Chicago Blackhawks, 26 points in 71 games played in 2011-2012 as well as 28 points in 2013-2014. So he has played some impactful time for the Chicago Blackhawks in years previous. Of course, those were some years in the span where they were winning cups, so don't mind, uh, don't mind that Marcus Kruger isn't an experienced Chicago Blackhawks player. He's probably exactly what the Blackhawks wanted back. I mean, kind of fell off after those two good years early on, but it is what it is. So Marcus Kruger, that's your breakdown right there. And then the other piece is, let's go find ourselves some information about Mackenzie Entwistle. Mackenzie Entwistle into Google. Mackenzie Entwistle, I believe he is definitely a prospect here. Born in 1999 from Georgetown, Ontario. He's 18 years old. Drafted in the 2017 Third round draft, 69 overall by the Arizona Coyotes. I was going to say he was a recent draft pick, that is for sure. Played 49 games in the OHL this season, had 18 or 38 points, and then played 21 playoff games and had 17 points. He's more of an assists man than he is a goal scorer. 13 goals to 25 assists in the regular season. He is a right winger who shoots right. So there you go, a prospect, the... Chicago Blackhawks have just picked up Mackenzie Entwistle. All right, all right. That's number two piece there for the Chicago Blackhawks. Now Jordan Malata. Um, let's go find him. Jordan Malata. And let's find out what we can about him. He looks to be a quite experienced player, 23 years old. Having played time in, looks like, Chicago, or looks like Columbus and Boston. 23 years old, once played once upon a time for the Windsor Spitfires. And let's see what we got. The Cleveland Monsters. So he's played a lot of time in the AHL since 2016-2017. He has played for the Lake Erie Monsters, the Cleveland Monsters, whatever you want to call them nowadays. 23 points in 76 games played. 4 points in 28 games played last season. 
for the monsters and then the road runner road runners he played a full whopping one game so he's not quite sticking it in the nhl yet which means he probably won't stick it in the nhl but jordan Malata, there's your breakdown on him in the last piece andrew campbell coming back towards the chicago blackhawks before we get into what the blackhawks have ditched off to um to the what do you call them? To the Sh Arizona Coyotes. Pardon me, my TV is lighting up, scaring the crap on me here. Hold on. Andrew Campbell, Chicago Blackhawks, right there. That's what we want. So Andrew Campbell being a 30-year-old player who has played time in Arizona in 2014-2015. Played in, in uh, Los Angeles, pardon me, in 2013-2014. Played six games for the Maple Leafs in 2015-16 had an assist, and has since been a captain in the AHL with the Marlies and the Tucson Roadrunners. So there you go, there's some information about Andrew Campbell and what he can bring. And now let's go break down Marion Hossa. Do we really need to break him down? Absolutely we do. Marion Hossa, one of the all-time greatest players of the early 2000s, late 2000s. Marion Hossa, there's without a doubt 1979 birth date. 39 years old from Slovakia and this guy is an absolute monster his most recent couple of seasons I'll give you the breakdown there Chicago in 2014-2015 he had 61 points and then 64 games played the next season had 33 points and 45 points in the 16-17 season so there's your breakdown on Marin Hosa. he was ruled ineligible to play by the well, ineligible to play due to injury by the NHL at one point last season. So keep that in mind. I don't know what the whole plan is there, if it's going to be a Chris Pronger situation or what. But that is the key piece going on with Marin Hosa. He was kind of the key component to making this whole deal happen for the Coyotes and Arizona or and Chicago Blackhawks. Sorry, Chicago Coyotes got me all turned around. It has been a wonderful morning trying to follow along and figure out what's going on with this trade. Now the other piece is going back, Vinny Hinestroza. We have to find out about him here as we can search in. Hinestroza, Vinny Hinestroza. How do you spell that? How do you spell that? Uh, Vinny Hino, 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 Hino. Vinny Hinestroza, born 1994, so he's a whole whopping two years older than I am. That's pretty cool. 1.5 million contract, and last season... With the Rockford Ice Hogs, he had 22 points in 23 games. Guy can light up the AHL, right? That's that's not a question. 25 points in 50 games with the Chicago Blackhawks. Like I said, bona fide third, fourth line player. You can get some production out of him. Not a goal scorer, a lot of assists. But I mean, at 24 years old, you give him time on that third line, he could easily still, by the time he's 29, become that second tier, second line player, right? Not quite that guy you go out of your way to get it's a guy that you develop to be on your second line if you know what I mean in Vinny Hinnestroza Chicago Blackhawks fans roast me if you want I don't have enough knowledge on Vinny Hinnestroza and how they used him last year but in my opinion based on the stats I've seen and based on what I've heard on Twitter today I'd pin him as what I just did other than that we have one last piece Jordan Osterley who I know from Oilers lore Jordan Osterley, 1992. Haven't played at one point for the Edmonton Oilers. Two whole games in 2016-2017. And then playing six games in 2014-2015. He's been a career AHLer pretty much up until this past season where he played 55 games with the Chicago Blackhawks, putting up 15 points and a minus 11 rating. So realistically, not a bad situation for Jordan Osterley. As he came to Chicago, proved himself after a good season in the AHL the pre year se or season previous. Holy crap, I can't even talk today, guys. I'm going to have to get out of here pretty soon. But Osterley now will be a bona fide member of the D-Core in Arizona, almost guaranteed. So that's huge. I mean, they just signed Yarmelson. So it's going to be interesting to see what Jordan Osterley's impact is in Chicago. He's going to be the biggest piece. I'd say Vinny Henestroza. And Jordan Osterley, they're going to battle out to be the biggest piece of this trade going back to Arizona. And the other question is, 
what's that third round pick going to end up being like? You never know who they could pick up with that third round pick. And we could be talking five years from now, that third round pick being the most effective piece of this trade for the Arizona Coyotes right now. Winners? I don't know. I, I'd say both are going to come out just fine because Chicago got a good, decent prospects and at the same time, they got rid of what they wanted, so maybe they're the winner there. But Arizona at the other side got some guys that can come in and make an impact in their lineup. So who knows? We'll wait to see how things go in the 2018-19 season. This is Dolan TV. I'm Tyson. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you subscribe. I don't know why you'd want to. I can't even talk through a full 10-minute video. But I will catch you guys, as always, in the next one.